I'm about to send 2,000 marbles through this ginormous loop. What is it gonna look like? Oh my gosh! What's up, gaming goobers? Welcome back to Marble World. Today we're gonna be messing around with the editor. I got some a really cool idea here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it here, guys. Yeah, I think some one of the updates broke the... It's like, it's always selecting this effect, and I don't want that effect. No effect. No, no effect. No offense, the effect is cool, but... I just want some regular marbles, man. So my idea here is to make this like slope down into this ginormous loop. So we're gonna go into the track building mode here. And what's neat about this is it's kind of like if you guys ever played Roller Coaster Tycoon, like the original Roller Coaster Tycoon, then this editor is very similar to that, as you notice over here on the left or the right. <laughs> Other left. I don't know my directions. Man, am I dumb. Anyways. But you can do like so much more. See, Roller Coaster Tycoon had like these pre-built things so you can make it go up and whatever. But on this, you can change like the length. And I want to say this is very similar if you guys ever played Park Architect. So that game is like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but like it's a little more advanced. You can do a lot more customization in it. But it still has, it's on the grid and it's, it has that, it's the isometric. It's an isometric game, if you will. But it has the the uh, track thing like this, and you can do change like the length and everything, and, and then like the banking. So you couldn't do that in Roller Coaster Tycoon, which I always wish you could have. You just had the pre-built pieces. But this track builder in Marble World is actually kind of reminds me of that, which is neat. So we just want to angle this down here. We got to have these marbles get some insane speed here. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to have them just, and then we're going to build like a, a very long kind of runway here, if you will. I may want to go steeper, I don't know, we got to see what kind of speed this is giving the marbles here, because this loop's got to be ginormous. Drop the thing, you just hit the green thing. I don't know if there's a hotkey for that or not. There they go. Aw, oh, sick. I, I might want that a little steeper, actually. Yeah, just like that, I think might be better. It'll give it some more speed. Now, you can add, like, supports and stuff on this, but for this sake, I'm... Yeah, that's, that's way better. All right, so we're gonna keep building this down here. We gotta get some insane speed because we're gonna be building this ginormous loop here. Now, what we have to figure out is how to funnel them into this loop. You can see the grid on the bottom here is actually the bottom. Now, there's different maps you can choose in this, but I'm on the grid one because it's easier to see, but as you can see here, this thing's gonna have some crazy speed. So, what we're gonna do is, here, we'll spawn in some more. Look how fast these are gonna come down here. Dude, this is crazy. They're going like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Now, we don't want them to fly off the track, so this is going to be a little tricky here. Now, what you can do in this game, and it's amazing, is you can scale anything, which is so crazy. Now, if you want a uniform scale in the editor, you make sure you hit the white box. Otherwise, you can just, and you can you can do this. Like, if you want the loop like real elongated like this, you can do that. So here, we'll send some down and see what that's like with this. Oh, we got some that flew out there. But yeah, see, we want we want the loop to be normal, not stupid. Because see, when you scale this up, they're going to hit this thing. See, now what you have to do is you have to lower it to be a little bit more narrow. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes you do have to mess with this a little bit. If we can get it the same width as the track would be nice. Yeah, that's sick. That's perfect. So actually, we don't want to uniform scale it. Let's not snap that on the end. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's turn off the grid snap, too. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you need to disable the... Yeah, so you gotta get... We can get that lined up perfectly. Look at that. Oh, seamless. Bro, that is amazing. The only thing I wish on this one here is if I could scale up these walls. These nuts. I don't even know if they made it through the dang thing. Yeah, see, they're, the problem is when the bottom's out. We have to figure out how to get this nice, seamless transition right here. I also wish it had, like, an auto-complete feature. I think that would be neat because I know Park Attack kind of has that. And I know if you play Planet Coaster, that has it, too. So where it'll use some kind of thing to connect the track, like, as smooth as possible. A smoothing thing would be amazing in this. So what I'm trying to do here is just gradually, like... Yeah, have them, so we don't want them bouncing. We need a nice gradual transition here. All right, so look at that. Yeah, without the grid snapping, look at that. We can seamlessly connect these. So let's see if that's better. Here they come. I don't want them flying out. Yes. Yes. They made it. That's sick. 
Now, can we make this loop bigger? That is the question. That is the question. Here, let's see if we can get a better angle of this. Oh, that's sick. They, they have so much speed. Oh my gosh, look at that. We can make this loop even way more ginormous. All right, so now all we need to do is just keep scaling this loop up. Now, how I'm scaling this is you hit one. Dude, you can make like really any shape of loop you want in this game, which is so neat. Now, this might not look big from here, but you guys see the scale each... Here's the grid down here, and then there's the loop. Here's like the normal track right here. You guys see how small the marbles are. This loop, look at this. This loop is huge. This is like the, well, it used to be called the Manus at Cedar Point. Now it's like Roguru. And now all we got to do is just make sure we lower this again because, see, we scaled it up. So we don't want the marbles hitting this thing or they will just do nothing. Now it's actually okay if this is a little bit lower. So you guys see there's like this little gap here, but that's okay because... We can seamlessly line that up though, which is sweet. Look at that. That's awesome. Now we got these big walls in here too, which is nice. That'll keep them from kind of flying out of the loop. I want to see if it makes it through this one. And then what we have to do after this is we have to figure out what we want them to do after the loop. So let's see if they make it here. Let's spawn some in. Look how crazy that is. Oh my god, that's insane. Oh, they just made that. They just made that. Oh, there's a couple that didn't make it. Ah, oh, so we might have to go a little bit smaller. All right, let's spawn them in again here and see if they make it through this one. Oh, this is insane. Yes, they made it. Did any get stuck? I don't think so. I think that was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit shorter, I think, because we got some that aren't just... They're not quite, and that could be because they're hitting into each other too, maybe. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower on the height here. Just a little bit, we don't wanna go too much. That's good there, now we're just gonna readjust our position. It's kinda nice with the, the snap off. Sometimes snap on is good if you just wanna build quick tracks, but this gives you way more precision. All right, so we're gonna select that, drop them, and then go on the camera to see what it's like here. Oh, that's crazy! Uh, oh my god, that's like a roller coaster. That's flipping awesome. That's great. Yeah, they all pretty much made it through, I think. Dude, look at the speed they have. That's insane. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we have to figure out what that. I think that loop's perfect, actually. Oh, there's more falling. What the crap? All right, so we're gonna kind of transition back into a regular piece here. You can enable this on and off, so if you want to just snap it, like, for the first one, that's good. But then to go into free building mode, you, you like, deselect it again. I don't know why it's a... I think it's backwards, because, like, I'm connecting it, but now the free building mode is actually going the other way. I don't know why that's doing that. I think they need to fix that. Because, see, I had to, like, rotate it there to get it... There we go. All right, let's try that with this piece. Yeah, I don't... See how, how it's being janky? See, I don't know why the, the free building mode is actually shown the other way. They need to fix that, I think. But with a little rotation and just some movement, see, we can just snap it easily again. Now, let's see, what do we want them to do? I think we're going to have to we're gonna have to slow them down a little bit. So we can get them kind of up like a hill would be kind of neat. We don't want them to, like, fly. So we're going to build kind of something like this. And then we're gonna build a tube. So this will kind of keep them from flying out. And see, we can scale this tube, which is kind of neat. Just whoop. So let's see if they make it through, the, out the, go out this tube. There they go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, that's perfect. Dude, that's perfect. So they're gonna go through that. Now there is this weird space like here, but they have enough speed to where I don't think they're gonna fall out of this thing. And we can even raise this up, I think, a little bit. So if we turn off the snap, to the end. Perfect, look at that. So that joins a little bit. I don't think they're gonna fall back because they have so much speed. They're just literally gonna fly through this thing. So now what we gotta do, let's see if, let's do another test run here, see if they fly out. Dude, that's awesome, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, perfect. So we gotta keep them in this tube for now because they're, see, one, especially up here, we gotta keep that tube going, man. If you can copy and paste. I believe you can. Oh, wait, there we go. 
Oh, that's what I wanted. But see, the problem is it's still facing the other way, and I don't know why it's doing that. That's what we need. Okay, so it's letting me do that. But now, see, unfortunately, we're going to have to kind of deform this here ourselves. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger than this tube because we're, we're going to have it go in this ginormous tube here, and this is going to kind of randomize it. It's going to shoot them in here. We definitely got to scale this up, though. See, now it's all weird at the end here. I think we're just going to have to leave this as is. So it's going to go in here. They're going to shoot out into this thing. Now that I got that snapped, we need to scale this one up. I'm trying to get this lined up here. There we go. All right, so they're going to fly through this thing. They're going to go down. So they're going to shoot through this thing. They're going to go down this thing. And hopefully once they're kind of down this thing, we got to maybe funnel them into like a large funnel. Let's plop this little goober down here. Scale this up. They're going to go in this big funnel. And then they will continue down the track. Now, hopefully they don't fly out of this thing. That's another thing we're going to have to make sure that they're not flying out here. So we're going to... Plop them right in there. They may bounce, but, well, let's just scale this sucker up. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Now we're cooking. I don't know if it's going to work on this one, but when they enter the bull, they kind of want to enter from one of the sides here. That definitely swirls them a bit better, so we'll see if that works. If they fly out, we might have to adjust it. Through the loop, through that thing, and down yeah, and as I feared, they flew out, but we can fix that. We can just add some walls. It actually works out. They swirl around pretty good. I think if we just add some walls here, they'll go right in this funnel, and then we can continue our track here. We'll be picking a custom marble from the la uh, comment on the last Marble World video, so stay tuned. Yeah, we could just use decorations and shapes, probably the best thing. Now we're going to scale this sucker up. Yeah, that's perfect. I know it's a little janky, but you know, I, I'm not, we're not out for beauty here. We're out to make this work and that's it. I'm just kind of copying and pasting these. That way we don't have to worry about them going on the outside. Yeah, something like that. Whoop. Oh, I had it, I had it, I had it. Raise that up a little bit. Yeah, perfect. That way we don't have to worry. Hopefully that wall's big enough. I think it should be. I'm not an engineer, folks. Thank God. <laughs> it's weird because I'm putting squares on a circle. See, we don't want them getting stuck out here, so... What am I talking about? <laughs> there we go! Bang! <laughs> Jeez. That's all we need. I know it's janky, I don't care! Alright, here they go. Through the loop-de-looper. Oh man, that's insane. Yep, there it is, right there. That's perfect. Perfect! We're gonna funnel down. This is, you guys can see the scale of this funnel too. See how the size of the marbles, it really puts things into perspective here. So they're gonna swirl down, that is perfect. So now I wanna kind of start to funnel them into a smaller track. So let's see how we're gonna do this. But check this out. So you, now you can pick your own colors, but check this out. You can do freaking transparent. You always were able to do transparent, but I forgot you could do this. Look at that, and then you just click on it, now it's a transparent tube, so we can see them go through the tube. How cool is that? I forgot you could do that. So, that's actually perfect. We could even make these transparent too, like the walls. I think that might be better. That way it looks a little weird. It, it's kind of like plat, like a glass, you know, I think that looks way better. Now we can see them. I forgot you could do that, and you can do that with anything. I could even do it with the loop too. Actually, I might do that with the loop. Yeah, you can see them kind of bouncing around, but hey, they make it down. Yeah, let's do that with the loop. So you can make it different colors too. So if I wanted it like, I like, I just think white's the best because it's clear, easy to see. Yeah, that's awesome. So now we can see them go all the way through the loop. I'm going to leave these ones as is. So I think I'm just going to have them fall flat onto this thing. We got to make this kind of ginormous, though. I think this is going to be cool. Watch this. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait till you see this. What Matthew has in mind here. I think this is going to work perfectly. All right. So we're going to have it like this. That's neat. You can see actually where they're going to land. See the light shining through that? That's cool. Because they're going to be flopping around as they fly out of this thing. So we got to make sure there's enough room here. So we're going to scale this up a little bit more. They're going to fall onto this thing. And we're going to tilt it down just ever so slightly. Just like that. Perfect. That's all we need. So they're going to fall through that thing. 
Now what we have to do is we have to kind of funnel them down into like a, a smaller piece here. So I think that's merge. See, because if we just add this here, it's gonna, they're all gonna fall off of this thing. Now we can actually add just some angles here to funnel it into this. Okay, so I, I want them to funnel into this thing. So that's okay actually if it's a little bit lower. So, okay, watch what I'm gonna do here. Watch and learn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the decorations and just go to shapes and kind of just see like just this plastic shape here really is all we need. As long as we get it, yeah, at the same angle that this is, that should be perfect, look at that. Okay, and then we're just gonna scale this. We gotta just get it right on the edge there. Yeah, that's it right there, boom. A nice little funnel of roux. I probably could have did this somewhat better, I don't know, but like I said, I'm not an engineer, guys. And then we just, all we do, need now is just one for the other side. So we're gonna copy paste and just kind of flip this around here and just kind of get it into place. And then these will funnel this from the uh, big track down to the little one. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. Let me know if there is. Like as far as like, cause I'm going from a big scaled piece here to this little one. I know there's a merge thing, but it doesn't, it's kind of weird like how it works. So I don't know, like I said, if there's an easier way to do this, but hey, this works. See now how they're lining up here. Yeah, like right there. See, we're just even with the other one now. We kind of just mirrored the other one. So now what they'll do is hopefully once they just fall it, drop into here, they're not going to go anywhere else but down into here. They're going to funnel through this. Hopefully they don't get stuck. This piece, I think, is still kind of aiming downwards. Yeah, because I continued it from this one, so that's good. So they're going to funnel through here, and now we're back to our regular track again. So see, I did make it a little bit wider, so I made the width too. I think we're going to angle them down a little bit more here. I think we've got to have some Plinko. Got to have some Plinko. So we're going to have some Plinko right here. They're going to go do 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 <laughs> Have a nice little curve. Look at that. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So they're going to go around that thing. We're going to have our Plinko thing right here. We're going to go around this thing. I'm going to add some little uh, diverter things here. These little things. Just to kind of, because once they go through the Planko thing, they tend to just stay on the outer edge here. So we want to kind of divert them. I think we're going to do the Planko with the nails. The nails look cool. So let's plop some nails down this sucker. Sick. And kind of plop these little goobers in here. And you can actually paint the nails too, so you can make those transparent or whatever. It's really cool, the customization. I don't want them to get stuck, so we gotta be careful like about this one here. I'm kind of just placing these randomly. I'm gonna add a few little of those bump things on the walls just to kind of divert them. All right, that's a lot of freaking Plinko. So now, we're gonna plop these in to kind of just keep them away from the... Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, gorgeous, look at that. All right, let's see what other track shapes, how we're gonna finish this here. Now we're just gonna kind of angle them inwards here. Sick, that's awesome, yeah. So they'll funnel down into here. This will be the final run. All right, let's test her out so far here. Now we're gonna be able to watch them go through this loop. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Through the tubes. They do bounce around a lot in the tubes, but hey, that randomizes them. That's, that's good for a race here. Got some down already, look at us. And there's one stuck right there. So we're gonna get rid of that screw. We don't want that. There they go down the Plinko. Oh, that is neat. Yeah, they are funneling perfectly through here. Some of them kind of get hung up on these things. Nice. Yeah, I kind of like how they're ending up down here. They're kind of just against the wall. That keeps them from bunching up. All right, I'm gonna experiment with this funnel. Hopefully they don't fly out of this thing. So they kind of go around these edges here. They do bounce and then they kind of just, yeah, this one, I, I wanna make sure they're not flying. They're going too fast. Yeah, I think that should be all right. Yep, I think we're good there. That'll kind of just funnel them down into our final thing here. There it is right there, boom. And then they'll single file down. All right, spawn them in. We're gonna do this marble here. And here we go. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Through the loop. Up through the pipe. <laughs> nice. Wow. 
So we're following this marble here. Yeah, I don't know why the effects are turning. I have them turned off, but they're still on for some reason. And it's like not all the time. I don't know. Let's see if they single fall. Yeah, kind of. I mean, they're a little... I think that'll work. Oh, there's a couple that fell out. But hey, you know, you can't all make it, man. What the heck? That's as good as we're going to get on this transition piece without having to resize all that again. So now what I'm going to do is once they pass this point is we're going to add our finish line. So we got to go under racing. And see, this is the finish line right here. And then that's how it'll know which marbles won. Because once they're past this, then they're single file. They're not going to really go anywhere else. We just got to make sure they're past this point right here. Uh, and then we're going to add a few checkpoints in here, which are these things. And this lets us kind of lets the game know which marble is winning. So we'll do one after the loop. I think that would be perfect. And then we'll do one, I'd say, after, like, right here, I think would be perfect. I think one right here would be good. Look at that. Gorgeous. Scale that up. And then once I go in here, this will be our finish line. You know what? I'm going to make some quick supports because I don't. that is bugging me that it's floating. <laughs> Scale it a little bit. And boom. <laughs> I, I don't care that it looks janky. It's a support, man. So now what we can do is copy and paste and then just kind of skedaddle this one right over. Bootiful. Now it ain't floating no more. I know the track is floating, but I'm not building supports on this old track. We'll make our little bumpers red. Plastic red. Beautiful. Just give it some color here. Could even change our funnels. Actually, yeah, I am going to make this a transparent, this funnel. Oh, that's cool. It's like a red. That's so neat. All right, we'll do these metal. Yeah, let's do our checkpoints, too. I think, let's see, checkpoints we'll do... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. So it's like a race thingy. That's cool. Even though it looks like a finish line, still. They're checkpoints, man. That's for our race. So I think we'll make we'll paint them that. Beautiful. All right, tubes are that. Oh, yeah, let's do this one transparent, too. It's like a yellow. That's kind of neat. This is it right here. We're ready to race here. And now let's go pick a nice comment to see who's going to be racing. So today's nice comment from my last Marble World video comes from Corbin. He writes, Loving the Marble content. So different and unique from other gaming channels. Arcade Matt rocks. Thank you, Corbin, so much. You're go We're going to be making you a custom marble, and you're going to be racing me, Piggy, and Goober. If you guys want a chance to have a custom marble in the next Marble World video, just leave a nice comment down below. All right, so now let's make Corbin a custom marble. So we're going to go into the create marble option here. All right, so I think we'll go for like an orange-ish. Got to make it smooth like a marble. All right, Corbin, that is your marble here. So we're going to save that. There you are. This is what Goober's marble looks like. There's Piggy. And here is Matt's marble. I am going to extend this track back a little bit the uh, because we're going to do something really cool after we do a few of these uh marble runs here all right here we go so we're gonna be racing let's see who's gonna win start race here we go two one let's follow corbin's marble here they go oh that's sweet that is awesome there he goes through the loop oh beautiful crazy they are we are in the funnel now Holy crap. It's kind of neat you can see through it. I like that. It's a little weird at first, but it works. Oh, Corbin. Well, it looks like Piggy's in the lead here, guys. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, no. But, hey, anything can happen with the Plinko here. Oh, Corbin getting kind of hot. No, not bad. He's sneaking through. Let's see if he can at least beat Goober here. Oh, crap. He's going down. Piggy is in the lead, guys. This is crazy. Piggy has never been in the lead on any of these marble runs we've done. It's always been Goober. I don't know. This is crazy. Looks like Piggy took the W. Oh, look at that. Piggy, I came in second. Corbin came in last. We got to do another one. Let's do another race here. <laughs> boo -loo 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 All right, here we go again. Custom marbles here. All right, let's see if we get some different results. Start the race. We're going to follow Corbin again here. Number four, and go. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, he's in the lead this time. Look at this, Corbin. 
You might have a win here. Look at this. So far. Uh-oh. Piggy is sneaking up. Piggy, you cheating? Oh, man. A little sus. Look at this. Poor Corbin again, man. Goober's ahead this time. Oh, he got hung up in that funnel. That's no good. Uh, I don't know. Piggy's in the lead now. She snuck ahead. That is weird. That is strange. Wonder why. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see if anything changes here. Piggy wins it again. Look at this. Oh, dude. I came in second. Wow, that's weird. Huh. Let's do one more and then see if we get still the, the same results. All right, here we go. Let's follow him again here. I think it should be randomizing them. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, Matt's in the lead this time. Piggy's lagging, but anything happens here through this loop. All right, here we go. Best out of three. Let's see what happens. This funnel actually determines a lot of them. What happened to... Did Piggy fly out of the thing? Piggy and Goober flew out. How did they fly out? Dude, that's weird. Well, they're disqualified. Hey, that's great. Isn't that weird, though, guys? Look at that. Corbin sneaking ahead of me. It's me. It's Arcade Matt versus Corbin, guys. Look at this. Oh, got hung up a little bit. This, this is going to be close. Look at this, guys. This is insane. Oh, my Lord. Hoo -hoo. And oh, it all comes down to the final funnel. Corbin takes the win. They were disqualified. Look at that. That's weird. Let's end the race here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't see them. I don't know where they flew out. I think it was... When they went in this funnel, how did they fly out of the thing? Uh, I bet you they flew out right here. All right, first let's start with 180 here, spawned in. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's so cool. That is insane. Wow, let's see if they all made, they all made it through. Look at that. That is insane. Whew. Oh, that looks so cool in the funnel. Wow, look at that. That is neat. All the different colors. There they go down the Plinko. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is neato beans. Yeah, that's cool when they go down. I liked when they were in the funnel too, especially with the uh, transparency there. Let's see. We had random marble. Looks like 23 was the winner. Yeah, they're going so fast that some... Oh, yeah, some of them are spilling out. Look. <laughs> they're going to jam up. Look, in this thing. Oh, let's see what happens. That might be neat. It might jam the funnel, guys. I feel like they're just going to back up and then just kind of... Oh, no, it might clog. I think if we had more, we might be able to clog this thing. <laughs> let's see, guys. 180 marbles there. That's cool. This wasn't... I didn't really build this for 180 marbles, but let's see. Uh, now we're just going to spawn over a 1,000 of them and see what happens here. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. There's over a thousand marbles right there, guys. Oh, that's insane. Here they go through the loop. Oh, that looks so cool going through the loop. How neat is that? Dude. Oh, that's neat. Wow. Look at them all swirling down the funnel and dropping. Wow. Look, some are actually still flying out the back here. That's crazy. Woo. I guess when there's more marbles, they, you know, they're hitting off of each other. Oh, the Plinko looks sick. Dude, look at that. Oh, that is amazing. That is cool. There they go down the thing. Oh, they're all going to get clawed. All right, let's see what happens here now. They're kind of just all pouring in here. Oh, yeah, look, they're getting clogged up. Look at that, guys. That is so cool. Some are spilling out the bottom here. That is neato. They're kind of knocking some of the other ones out here. I guess the weight of them. Oh, yeah, they are funneling through. Look at that. So they're going through, but they're just kind of spilling out. That is neat. Oh, you got to love this game. You got to love physics sandbox games. All right, so we're, we're going to spawn a bunch and just keep. And we're going to make like a stream this time. Look at this. 2,700 marbles through the loop. Oh, my God. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my Lord. That is that is neat. That is exactly what I wanted to accomplish in this video. Look at this, guys. Oh, look at that. I like the, oh, the transparency. I totally forgot about the transparency effect. Now, I want to see if they get stuck here. No, they're funneling through. Look at that. How neat. It's like a waterfall of marbles, guys. Look at this. 
Wow, let's let's see what the Plinko looks like. Oh, that is amazing. Dude, that's awesome. I think I might upload this one to the Steam Workshop. I know it's a little janky, there's no supports. Maybe I'll go back someday and just add its supports, kind of make it so it's just not floating in the air. That is neat. That was over 2,700 marbles, guys. There they are, funneling. Yeah, they kind of just, it fills this up, but they do eventually spill out. <laughs> That's neat. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think I might upload this to the Steam Workshop. This one was this one was pretty cool. This is exactly what I had in mind. Glad it worked out through the tubes and everything. I love the transparency effect. Totally forgot that was a possibility with those things. It allows you just to see more, and it really brings out like the how the marbles are moving and everything. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Make sure you drop a sub for new videos every week here on Gaming Mat. I'm still doing my main arcade videos on my main channel, so those aren't going anywhere. Do not worry. This is just uh, kind of some extra gaming content for you guys. And I'm signing off saying thanks for gaming.